Welcome dear children to the Rajkumar College Rajkot Form 3 Computer Science. We have already started with our chapter 5 that is MS Paint. How to start is our programs, windows, accessories and in that MS Paint. Right? Now this is the screen, this is the drawing area. This is the quick access toolbar title bar it is untitled today we will see how to save paint button right now this is uh, which we are going to see today cut copy paste this is the selection tool if you remember we have seen rectangular and free form right these are the different tools these are the different shapes okay now and this is color one color two foreground and background color and colors right i can edit colors from here right so let us start now this is one shape that I am selecting, fine. Now I want the shape, same shape of same size, right. So what I will do, I will copy it and paste. Now first I have to select the shape, okay. Now I will select with the selection tool, I will select the rectangular shape, okay. Rectangular selection tool. Now I will do copy and you can see there is an apps, uh, option called paste I click on paste and see now you see I want to join here but you can see there is a white area coming here right so I have an option here transparent selection okay, see okay this way we can make it transparent so if you want to do overlap like this even you can make it right so this was copy and paste now i thought see from selection tool i can drag it and put it over here no problem but i want to cut and paste so cut paste so it will come again okay so that is cut paste and copy paste okay now you might have seen madam you have done cut right when then when i did paste it has come automatically here i have not done copy then also it has come here whenever you do cut you can paste the object okay now see i'll show you one more example ah, now see i am taking one shape over here i'm doing with the selection tool i got it rectangular selection tool okay now what i'll do i will do cut here cut i'll do paste see this object has come right now see i'll do another shape now see suppose i've taken this shape now i will select with the select tool fine now what i'll do copy and paste so what did you mark in this whenever i do cut the image is been removed okay and i can paste if i want the same image again you can you just have to click on paste you don't have to do any copy or anything if you have used the cut option now see cut so this image is gone whenever you do cut you can do paste directly fine but, and even if you do copy copy paste it will make multiple copies also for you now you have to do paste 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 okay so once you do copy you can click on paste anytime you want okay so this is the small difference between cut and copy and paste fine so now we will see the different shapes okay and uh, we have already seen the different shapes now we will see the outline okay i'll select the line tool i'll select no outline see the color is gone okay and like this so the different option this is outline tool fine okay. option in the outline style these are the different styles of outline okay this way you can do it right 
now if you want to fill the shape okay select this fill with color right it has become white because color 2 is white so this way we can fill the shape okay so this is fill with color option we have already seen right now i'll click on new i am not going to save the file okay now we will see the i am doing page number 46 flip the picture flip means to rotate okay to turn the selected picture horizontally or vertically now what we have to do select click on the select tool and select the picture click on the rotate option in the image group on home tab a list of options will be displayed for changing the rotation or flipping select the desired option and the same effect will be applied on that picture okay now i want to flip or rotate the picture so i'll take some this type of a shape selected with the select tool now in image there is an option flip vertically right rotate horizontally rotate like this way you can rotate and flip then you got resize option now percentage wise or pixel wise you want to resize you can increase the uh, see automatically vertically it will select okay skew stretch and skew okay see please enter a valid number between 89 and yo i put wrong so that there is not enough memory or resource see it has gone so big okay it was out of bound you can resize the shape okay well too low to little little changes there okay see okay so this way you can resize the picture whichever you want okay resize and rotate flipping the picture now on page number 47 we have got text tool right now let us see the text tool I'll, it is already selected i'll press the delete key it will be removed okay now when i click on text tool okay see the options like changing the font and that comes right so now i change the font from here wait you can change your font from here okay you can select the text you have written with your left mouse button and you can make the increase the size see it has become big you can make your box bigger if you want to make it bold this is bold again i'll make it little bit bigger now i want to underline it okay now it is italic see the slant okay italic means the uh text style will be little bit slant if you want to do underline now this is called strike through if you want some pattern like this okay this strike through 
underline you can remove if you don't want italic also you can remove bold also you can remove all of them has a shortcut key control b control i and control u control key from the keyboard if you remember the ctrl key that is control key okay so this way you can make your drawing even the text also transparent or opaque okay now this is bold italic and underline now see you can i have clicked but the effect has not come why because i have not selected the text so what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to select the text and then all the effect will come now i have clicked outside the text toolbar is gone so this way you can uh, have the font size and that right so now uh, we are on page number 48 okay zoom in and zoom out picture fine now let us do this okay let us go in view right zoom in you can see so big here you can see the status bar your screen has become up to 100 300% zoom out is 12 zoom in even you can do from your this is zoom slider actually okay zoom in zoom out here also you can see you can change this this is a zoom slider okay on the status bar fine so this way you can make zoom in zoom out and you can zoom your picture now this is okay zoom slider fine now it is creating a new drawing and saving a drawing okay fine so let us create a new file and save it okay now we will go again on home tab this is a from here i can make a new file click on new if you want to save this you can click on save otherwise so don't save okay so this is my new file i'm going to make a star okay or a small flower i would like to now see i want the same shape so um first i will select with the select tool i'll make it copy paste control c copy and control v paste now i have copied one so i have to just paste it and put it properly small flower right you can make your own imagination and draw very beautiful pictures here okay i have made a small drawing so i have created a new picture now i am going in file menu save and you can save the file okay it will ask me the folder where i am supposed to okay so i'll just write here it is my folder suchi folder is there and i'm going to save my file okay form 3 practice page i'll just save okay you can see the extension is dot png okay i'll save the file okay see this is the way i have saved the file now i will exit the application exit the whole application is closed now i'll start programs accessories windows accessories and in that paint is there okay now i want to open my file go in file open okay now this is suchi folder yes form 3 practice okay click it on and it will be open right so this way you can save a file and you can open in the same way now if you want to do some changes you can make it you think oh this drawing is not okay i can do this cut okay i thought no 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 i should make the same so paste okay one paste is there again paste now see this transparency is not there so you can uh, select here and you can transparent selection you can do 
again paste okay so this way i can use copy paste a bunch of grape has made and you can just have your small branch here right so uh, this is the way you can use copy and paste okay now even we have seen how to save right and how to close the application you can exit from here or you can close it from here see now once i have saved the file and if you make any changes it will ask again to save the file you can click on yes save so now again your application is closed okay now i will show you how to open with the help of a shortcut key fine okay okay now i want to open my file so ctrl control o you have to press it together control o just click on your file and you can open it now i don't want to do anything with it okay fine now if i will close it will not ask me to save because i have not made any changes in it okay again program windows accessories paint fine so control o open which file you want to open select that file and click on open see again my file is open now i want to open a new file control n no control n c untitled paint a new file is opened okay alter alt just near the space bar you can see alt key alt and from your function key f4 c the whole application is closed close alter f4 uh children these are the some shortcut keys which are given in your lesson i'm just trying to help you out with it so, uh, practically i cannot show on the keyboard right now see so control o to open control s to save okay and the control n a new file you can see the first letter control o open control s save control n new these are the shortcut keys on page number 49 tip is given right so this way you can open you can close you can save okay and alter f4 alter key just near the space bar and function key f4 and you can close the application so um, these are the different uh, tools of your ms paint program right and the different options like selecting copy color right background color this all are the different different uh, options in your ms paint right now hope you all are fine at home and enjoying doing your ms paint ha huh? so just a small revision okay start programs in that windows accessories in that paint right when you open paint you will get the screen this is a drawing area title bar quick access tool bar paint button file but file option home tab view tab okay home tab is already by default this all are the shapes tools we have seen the magnifier right we have seen this zooming the picture see i am clicking see it is zoom in now zoom out okay so this way this is called zoom slider even you can do it from here right it is on the status bar the screen we have already seen today we have seen how to resize how to rotate how to do cut copy paste right and even the different sizes even we have learned how to save see three ways are there one is save then one is from the quick access tool bar save option and the third one is control s right so this way you can save the file if you want to open a new file then control n and alter f4 will close the document 
so this was your ms paint program fine uh, hope you had liked this ms paint program right so today i would like to give you a prep that is brain developer page number 50 question a i will put it on the erp on saturday right um i will give you the prep question a only question a fill in the blanks page number 50 okay just do a uh, fill in the blanks right so thank you for today huh? you can read your chapter any doubts you can clear it thank you and have a nice day children keep safe i'm not going to save this file thank you and have a nice day